what do I think of the new fiduciary rule? I think that there's uh, a lot more that's been said about it uh, than the eventual impact that it's going to have upon the industry. And that conversation's healthy because it probably settles us to uh, an equilibrium over time. But in the end, for uh, fee-only investment advisors, for sure, the fiduciary rule is not going to have a substantial direct impact upon their business uh, in a real significant way. Thumbs up for independent investment advisors over the short term. Their business model wins. Uh, the, the model that is freer of conflicts of interest uh, is one that prevails. Uh, however, over the longer term, maybe not so rosy because now there's much more substantial competition uh, among, among the high road, among those that are selling to, uh, to plans and uh, to retirement plans uh, based upon this new uh, fee basis or you know, with, with fewer commissions and other uh, conflicts of interest. Thumbs down going towards those that haven't really evolved their practice over the years, those that primarily sell on commission but haven't necessarily been forthright with their clients as to the commissions they've been receiving. Thumbs down to uh, antiquated product providers who, have, who are selling and distributing bloated product with excessive commissions uh, and, uh, and expenses. Uh, there's going to be a lot of evolution and innovation within the product space uh, because of this new, uh, this new regulation coming down the pike. Our role um, as uh, counselors is to continue to assess the evolving landscape that's out there, to look at threats, to look at opportunities, and to stay really focused on each and every one of them so that advisors themselves, our clients, are in a position to really focus on their business and how do they grow their business and how do they service their clients effectively in their, the investment landscape. I think that ETFs and uh, passive and low-cost funds are winners here because they appeal to more sophisticated investors. I mean, all the studies that we've seen tend to show that advisors, when utilizing um, an investment or when implementing uh, an investment strategy, uh, tend to favor them more than the mainstream public does. So I think they win because advisors are uh, the buyer's representative. Advisors are the ones who are vetting these products and they don't have any skin in the game. They're not earning compensation typically off of uh, these products. So the best interest contract exemption was perhaps the most controversial of any area of the, uh, of the fiduciary proposal. And the reason why this is such a lightning rod is because it brings the prospect or the customer front and center with the conflict of interest, with the exception to acting in their best interest. It puts on, in, in paper right in front of them in a document that they need to sign the exception to the best interest. Uh, and I think the, what makes it most controversial, and there's a number of areas where, where you'll find controversy, but most controversial is the fact that many financial advisors or brokers haven't been forthright with their clients with respect to the nature by which they've been earning compensation. We all tend to agree that investors are confused about the distinction between broker-dealers and advisors. Uh, they don't really understand the distinction among the suitability standard of care and the fiduciary standard of care. Um, and that's part of the problem. The other part of the problem is that even to the extent that they understand it, and it's really not all that complex to understand, they're really disengaged by the whole process. They really just don't want to hear of it. And I think we've done uh, such an overwhelming job with disclosure that people start to uh, filter it out. If we rally around the fact that the number one major theme that has been problematic within the securities industry is confusion, maybe right behind that is apathy or maybe they're somehow combined, we have done nothing to cure that problem with the introduction of this uh, fiduciary standard of care uh, that the DOL has, uh, has proffered upon us.